I had a, I had a second floor apartment and the neighbours downstairs knew that we were two guys living upstairs and then suddenly they could hear like heels going all day long because I was like cleaning in them I was uh, doing the cooking in them just getting used to wearing them and then in the end I could run I could literally run around in, in stilettos yeah no problem but in Lisbon I, I don't think I could do it on these streets <laughs> wow wow you've got you left me speechless <laughs> My name is Lee Sanderson and I live in Lisbon. <laughs> what did you want to be when you were a kid? I wanted to be a celebrity chef. And um, I got a job in experience in a kitchen and I lasted about three days and I heard the chefs shouting at each other and I thought, there's no way I can do this. It was 1990. Five, I think. I went to Lanzarote, Canary Islands, and I saw a, a little bar for rent and um, opened a business that became quite successful with a business partner over there, um, which was drag dinner shows. And um, I couldn't afford the drag queens, it was too expensive, they wanted 300 a night. So I thought, okay, I'll have to do this myself. So. I had a friend with a makeup shop, so I got in touch with her, she sent me the makeup. I got a really bad wig. And um, I started a drag career. I was like really nervous the first time I went on stage, and I was like just clinging to the wall behind me. And then I got into it, and that lasted 25 years of doing drag. I styled myself off a really average woman that works in a cafe. She's working with like the truckers and everything on a daily basis. I was like, yeah, a cafe woman in a sparkly dress, yeah. Heels? Yeah, um, six inch um, stilettos, yeah, I ran around in those for a few years. Why did you leave the drag queening behind? <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to change my lifestyle. Was it exhausting? It was challenging work. Um, when I was doing theatre tours, that could get very heavy. What do you do here in Lisbon now? I have opened an indoor mini golf experience. I was in Lisbon and I was um, sat in a bar in Barrio Alto and I was thinking, this is really boring. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do something while we're having a cocktail or a beer? And then I didn't have the money to open it. I just had limited funds. So I had to get uh, family members to come over and build it ourselves together. And we literally built it uh, with, with our own hands, yeah. That You're an it. inspiration. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the area is Chiado and it goes down to Pink Street. And it's quite a... It's quite an expensive area, it's not a cheap area. There's like four Michelin-starred restaurants around my mini-golf. Three floors of fun for everyone. It's very colourful. Yeah, I got local artists in to, um, to help me uh, and they did the painting. And here we are in the UV area, which is probably our customer's favourite part of the mini golf. We were limited on space, so I came up with this wall idea just to, uh, to save space. So, yeah. That's it. We met in, in Spain. Spain, in Lanzarote, yeah. Yes, like 10 years ago, ten years probably, ago. Yes. What's the secret of a long relationship? Um, argue about everything and get it out of the way. Yes, yeah. probably that is the one, yeah. yes. He created problems, I created arguments, yeah. <laughs> what do you like most about living in Lisbon? Uh, I like the people. I like the laid-back lifestyle. I love the city because it's old. Uh, but it's full of young people, so it's got a cool vibe, you know? It's the only place I've lived where I miss it when I'm away. What ambitions do you have left in life? 
Many. Name Man. one. Ping pong. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.